peace and welcoming to the Ogono Art family. Today we're going to be talking about the mindset of I can never do that or limiting ideologies or limiting things that we believe that hold us back. And so the words that we believe tend to play a huge role in our advancement. And I remember going through a lot of these limiting mindsets while I was growing up. And, you know, I still have them every now and then. It certainly decreased. And it's part of being human. It's part of the beautiful contrast of life. And so the mind is similar to a computer. And my mindset on these doubts are like the, the doubts serve as computer viruses that slow down a computer. So doubts are similar to mental viruses. And on the computer, as we go browsing the web or so, we can encounter unexpected viruses that slip into our computer hardware. Likewise in life, as we interact with family, friends, or, or strangers, they may start slipping in doubts towards you, saying that you can never draw like that, you have to be born gifted or so, or you can never be as smart as so and so. These things are similar to viruses that can slow down our minds and, and hinder our potential. And so what we know is physically humans and computers have their, their limitations. So for example, a computer software, if you were to download a software from your computer that says uh, your computer will be able to fly if you download this software, you know, the computer is not going to fly. So there are some limitations in uh, you know the physical human body and on the computers. However, mentally and emotionally, humans can have an unlimited potential under the correct training. So stay tuned to the end of the video to get perspectives on how to overcome doubt. And so solution number one is to install helpful mental programs. So a positive image is key to improvement. Now it's difficult to install helpful mental programs if we keep going to the same malicious website. And so if I were to compare malicious websites in human terms, it can be the, the people that we hang around, the environment that we're in, and the list can go on and on. And so sometimes I feel that we can get too familiar and too comfortable with what's taking place. And we can be afraid to try something new. And so I say that we don't have to leave our comfort zones. We can just expand our comfort zones. And it's similar to any skill. At first, it's difficult. However, the more you're, you practice it, it'll start to become second nature to you. So there are two types of fears. One fear is if a bear was coming to attack you, I wouldn't recommend going near the bear. And another kind of fear is working up that courage to talk to that girl you like or that, that guy you like. And al although you're scared, you'd really love to talk to them. So fam, have you ever faced your fears? And after you faced your fears, you felt that you can conquer anything. You can do anything. You just got that sense of euphoria running throughout your body. And so all you have to do is just keep up that momentum until you can adapt to it and it becomes ingrained into your comfort zone and so the key is to get dangerous and so solution number two is to detach and observe your positive and negative thoughts don't try to push them away or react to it just observe them and know that you aren't your thoughts the similar to how a computer isn't the software that it downloads from the internet because the computer can exist without those softwares and solution number three is a personal philosophy i say that perfection is an illusion when it comes to art because you can keep on adding more and adding less to improve your craft and when i hear, hear the term professional it feels as if we've reached a pinnacle of our evolution in our craft so i personally prefer the term internal student and so if we were to give the professionalism term in our craft, like music and art and math, can someone also be a professional at life? Perhaps, maybe so, like financially, romantically, physically, emotionally, mentally, to have all aspects in your life improve. However, at the same time, they say that enlightenment is knowing how much you don't know and knowing that there's always more and more to improve upon. Because that's my mindset. I just keep improving until death arises and solution number four is to eat healthy so eat healthy foods like spinach that can give us iron and iron can prevent us from feeling tired 
and foods that have magnesium like kale that can help us reduce emotional stress and so a great environment and natural foods can serve as antiviruses for the human body so that will be the video much love for watching and if you enjoyed the video hit that like button and consider subscribing to the family i make other videos like how to handle lack of confidence or lack of attention as an artist how to deal with it